Hey everyone, today we'll be going over how to use uh, web query in NetSuite to connect a uh, standard or a custom report to Power BI or Excel with refresh capabilities. Uh, this is going to be a pretty straightforward uh, demo, so I'll get started right away. So first I would like to export a report, uh, which I would like to see in Power BI and do further analysis or in Excel, or as a matter of fact. So go into reports. Uh, this is one of my saved reports. It's called Project Profitability, Profitability Detail. So once I'm in this report, all you would need to do is click on Customize. Okay, now the option to go here is under More Options and Allow Web Query. So all this would do is give you an additional option to use web query which would um, use that url to basically retrieve data out of netsuite so it acts like a data connector so i'm gonna go down click on save so it's gonna ask me to write go go for it it's just you're adding an additional option so once you have this you should see a new icon on your bottom right screen so it's called export excel web query click on that to, that should download um, an IQY file which you're going to open up in notepad plus plus or sublime text whichever notepad editor you prefer now that you've opened up your IQY file in a word editor or like a notepad plus plus editor all you would need to do is look into this URL here and make some small changes so you're going to update the part for the email in the parenthesis just replace that with the email you log in into NetSuite so it's going to show you guys using my email address I'm just logging in and I'm going to just going to copy paste this URL to basically put it in Power BI okay so the next step is to go back to Power BI select get data and import data from a web page so web is the option this is the same option that can be found in excel which i will show you guys once we load the data here it's going to take a few seconds to open up that data connection and then all you're going to do is paste that web url with the updated email address and click on ok A new um, pop-up shows up saying the type of uh, authentication it needs to do. You can select anonymous and click on connect. So while, while this loads up, I, I just wanted to show you guys real quick on this, the same option in Excel. So let me just go into Excel. Okay, now that this has loaded before Excel. So let me show you guys the table one is going to be your data from NetSuite loaded in Power BI. So this would have your data in the similar format as a report. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is some of the measures might get a little funky or messed up because you see these equal to. Um, so these are considered as strings in Power BI or Excel. So I would go ahead and transform data um like make these numeric and there are cases where the first row doesn't show up as um a, as a header row so i would do some like minor transformations before actually loading the data so yeah for the sake of the demo i'm just going to load this and show you guys that you can refresh this data set without having to do the same process again or like exporting a save search from netsuite and loading it in power bi or or Excel. So while that loads up, I'm just going to show you guys real quick the option for a web query under data, get data, so you can go from other sources and from web. So it's the same option. The UI is 
pretty similar between Power BI and Excel for getting the data and loading it into the editor for making changes and then doing your own analysis on top of it. So while that loads, so it's going to take some time for the connection to be created and based on the amount of rows you have, um, the more rows you have, it's going to take a while to get it loaded into the system and the same goes for the refresh. So it also depends on the date parameters you put in in NetSuite. So if you're looking for year to date, it might take longer than like, for example, this month to date or this week to date, for example. Now that the data has been loaded into Power BI, you can like go into your home screen and then click on refresh. So to actually get the dashboard or the report to refresh with the latest NetSuite data. Hope this was helpful. You can create your custom KPIs in Power BI. You can create additional trend graphs, line graphs. So all of that is possible uh, without having to manually export in NetSuite given NetSuite certain limitations with reporting. Uh, hopefully Suite Analytics uh, or like the advanced workbooks get there eventually in the future. Thank you again.